Welcome to today's episode of Tech and Toys. So in the last four years or so, a lot of uh, the old retro consoles of yore have been re-released as miniature versions, like the Super Nintendo, the Sega Mega Drive, the PlayStation, with some of the classic games, not all of them that we no. would have liked to have seen on it. But uh, in the last week, we've seen the release of the PC Engine Core graphics. Now, today we thought we'd unbox it, have a look inside, yep. see see what's uh, what makes it go and what games are shipped with it. Now, we've waited a year to get our hands on this. We ordered it in June 2019 and it's only just become available to the public. So we are one of the first people to get our hands on this. So let's um, unbox it and see what it's all about. <laughs> Right, okay, let's get this uh, little puppy open and have a look inside. Packaging's nice. Yeah, yeah not too bad. Okay. Typical cardboard slidey tray, manual. Well, I say manual, loosely. <laughs> yes. Ah, so only single controller in here, you only get one. I think it only it. came out with it at one controller, I think when it was launched, and then you could buy like a multi-tap to plug in extra. Oh, okay. Extra controllers. Yeah, still not, not badly made, I have to say. There's the main unit. Okay, mm. small. Yeah. All right, so oh, it has got two. I'm not sure what the point of the slidey uh, bit is to lock in the cartridge you can't put in, but. No. Uh, it's still the back external panel. bus connector, which yeah. doesn't contain the. Um, yeah, so HDMI power. and USB for power on the back. But two USB ports, so you can plug in a secondary controller on there. Yep. And then uh, USB. Standard for, micro USB. Yeah, for power. And there's some cable underneath here. Ah, right, okay, just uh, HDMI for, uh, for video. Perfect. Okay, fantastic. Right, let's get it plugged in. Right, let's power up. Exciting times. Anything? Uh, yep. Aha. Here we go. Here we go. Okay. Right. Oh, the interface oh. is quite nice. Yeah, it's quite nice. Yeah. Quite nice. All right. So across the top, I presume that's um, that's your game box artwork. They're all CD games, by the look of things. Oh yeah. Bomberman. Yeah, Bomberman. I'm not sure what that is. Blazing lasers. R type. I oh, think we should yeah. start with a bit of R type. It's with probably R -type. the most classic game on here. Yep. Nice little animations in it. It's... Ooh. Yeah. I always Last remember off. R type being less pixelated. Yeah. I think it's just that that. We're playing on quite a big screen though, to be fair. True. True. I wonder well, if there's so. some scan line options to make it look a bit more authentic. Yeah. When you have a look at the uh, right, so standard fire and charge. Yeah. Feel like the original? Yeah, it's not too bad. It's not too bad. The controller's okay. I mean, it's always difficult with the new controller because it yeah. needs breaking in. Yeah, um, the buttons but, are quite tight, oop. aren't they? No. It's close. Yeah, no, no, no power ups yet either. Oh, I just it missed is. that one. No. Yeah. Oh, oh yeah. Okay. Does look quite nice. Yeah, it's Does not look... too bad. Not too bad. Our type's probably one of my most favourite from. Uh, this so uh, so our type quite nice, not yeah. not, not a bad little game. I would have liked the, to have seen. I'll be honest. I would have liked to have seen the other R types. I don't actually know if they were ever released, released on, this on system, it. No. Um, so okay. let's uh, let's have a look and see how we how you get uh, back to the menu. Uh, oh, there we go. Yeah. So you can obviously save, save games, game. load games. Yeah. Um, we're going to quit back out to, to the, the main menu. menu. It looks um, like there's what? something down the bottom to change the system there because you're currently on turbo graphics. Right, okay. Looks so like the bottom right there says PC engine. Oh yep. So, so oh yeah, so we can console. select console here. Okay. And that uh Aha. Uh -huh. Alright, so this is the core cool graphics, whereas the other one's the Turbo 16. Um well, so we're right, obviously yep. can only switch, I believe, between the two. Yeah, that's yeah, right. So uh, 
Um, I'll tell you what, I'll load up cool graphics so and done, yeah. Um, yeah, yeah, you have a little look done. and see if there's anything that you recognise. Yeah. One thing I've noticed, the controller's got rapid fire selection, yeah. which the original didn't have, so it's got three settings on there, so that's probably quite handy, rather yeah. than button mashing. Um, right, what have we got then? What is that? No idea. Well, no it looks idea. familiar, but um, Darius? Super Darius. Being right. so it's a very r type type game. System card inserted. I do like the little graphical mm. things. Yeah, they've done quite well. Quite nice. Interface is good. Just a moment. So this is one of the CDD D games. Okay. Ooh, that's a good start. <laughs> yeah. Doing I can see you've completed all these on Expert I before. Have. I do oh actually God. recall it is a quite a fast moving, fast paced yeah, game. A little bit more than that. Does it not have a charge button like. Uh, no. Oh, hang on. What's this button? That's some sort of bombs. Oh, oh dear. I'm rubbish at this. Yeah, I can. No. I must admit, actually, that now I, Super Darius, I, I'm sure I have played it, but yeah. it doesn't look that familiar. Collectible. 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 Too late. No, nope. nope, got it. I didn't do, seem to do anything. I think it's uh, uh, increases no, it's the power there. of your missiles. Your oh, bombs. Yeah. Pretty rubbish at that. Okay, that's that over. Try something else. Yeah, I'll let you have something a, else. What, have what else have we got? Let's, uh, let's go back out my menu. Yeah, let's see what else is in there. Yep, okay, out we go. So, let's just have a look through what else is Superstar Soldier. Don't recognise yeah, that. that. See, again, a lot of, I mean, great. a lot of jam quite, stuff, quite yeah. cool. We might come back to it. Now, nin, Ninja Ryu Kuku Kukuden Den. Is that Ninja Gaiden? It is Ninja Gaiden. Um, <laughs> just the Jap version of it. Yeah, so. Let's try that Let's then. have a little look. Just something different, because obviously, um, Gradius is just going to be a very similar game again to our type. Alright, mm -hmm. let's go. Oh, yes. Go now, I actually only ever had Ninja Gaiden on, on the. Um, I had it on the Atari Lynx. I used to love it on that. Dog. It's alright, just bounce on the dog. Does the dog kill you? I presume it does if you. <coughs> Very double dragony, isn't it? Yeah, although you're only obviously one one player. Oop. I thought you could climb. You obviously need more buttons on the controller. I do. I'm hitting it like I should have more. Oh, there we go. Oh Ooh, dear. Oh dear. Yeah, okay. I think definitely going to need some more practice. And... Yeah. Comes the thing. No, I, um, I can't quite get on with this. What the controller? Yeah, I don't. I don't know. It's <coughs> buttons it's, still feel quite tight. I yeah, think. it's, I, it's I, obviously I, I, brand new. It doesn't have much weight to it. I can't remember what the original controller felt like. Whether it was heavier than that, but that punches. feels really light. No, I've got two punches, quite plastically. Yeah. Uh, there we go. You're getting the hang of it now. Yeah, I'm. I'm well, I'm just sort of. mashing the buttons more uh, frequently. Well, yeah. that helps. Why are you not jumping? Cut oh, for God. <laughs> Ruined it. Yeah. Try something else. Right, I'll see what Takes else we got. Menu. Okay, return to menu. Yeah, I'll let you choose one. Uh, yeah, so I don't know what that is. I, no, I don't know. Not Snatcher, that sounds interesting. <laughs> Probably not what I think it is. What's that? That's Gradius 2. That's, um, What's that? Give Bomberman a try. That's uh, Bomberman 94, which uh, was released in uh, 1994. Interesting. Yeah. That's a little top fact there that yeah, I didn't know. Top tip. Okay. Here we go. I do like the Bomberman games. Yeah, they're they're, they're good popular. fun. You, you do need multi tap though, because they are better with more players. Yeah, more players. The AI tends to be a bit dumb. A bit jerky. Ding, ding, ding. What? What's the buttons? What? You've just trapped yourself uh, in the bombs. Oh, uh, uh, Dave. <laughs> so you've completed all of these before. Yeah, don't trap yourself in the bomb. Ding, ding. 
Oh, yeah, it was only two spaces it used to take up, wasn't it? Yeah, so you it can collect the extra good. bomb now. Now you can lay two. You can lay two and then um, block people in with it. Ah, no. no, oh, this didn't fail. You're going to miss him again. You're going to block him in. Ah, uh, <laughs> one there. Uh, one. Oh no! Oh, you're probably better suited <laughs> playing this game. <laughs> I did well, got a thousand points. Music's good. Extend the flame. Can't see. Ah, apart from I just walked into my own bomb. Although I did get him at least. Okay. Yeah. I quite like this. Yeah. It's, it's Easy, pretty, pretty pliable. Game. Pretty pliable. I just what? don't know if that, if that was silly. Okay. You try something else? Yeah. See what else is on there? Right. right, should we so try this? The Kung, Kung Fu? Fu. The, the Kung Fu. The Kung Fu. Mm hmm. A hard and soft game, as most of them are. Don't know this at all. No. Ooh, ooh, Bruce Lee. Oh, what? Well, uh, oh. Yeah. Okay. The characters are massive. They are really big, actually. Oh, a butterfly. I don't. I, this this does not look pretty sharp, sure, doesn't it, to be oh, fair? Yeah. It's really bizarre. Uh, oh, he wasn't that good at Kung Fu. Yeah, let's what? probably skip I this do guy. have a question over why a Kung Fu master would feel the necessity to uh, punch birds as they fly and past and uh, yes. coconuts, I can kind of see. But poor little birdies, look, or whatever they are, butterfly, and they really do hurt you. This appears to have some kind of parallax scrolling going on in the back, which is... Yeah, it's like that small defenceless bird. And monk man dressed in a hooded thing. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, 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 the old. Can you jump one or not? Oh, you oh, can, yeah. yeah, yeah. So you can probably. Aha, uh -huh, flying knee kick thing. Uh, 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 bleeding quite badly now because the monks. Oh no, it's a rock. The. This is quite a horrific game. I would have been really disappointed if I bought that. It was probably quite expensive when it came it out. It probably was. Right, do you want to give bomb more game? Yeah, that's and then, uh, we'll see what we've got. See. I'll tell you what, you choose, you choose the last game. Okay, so what are we on here? We're on the... Uh, I don't even know what that is. Is that Gallagher? Yeah, Gallagher. Ooh. Should we for a laugh just try these? <laughs> Gate ball. Yeah, give it a try. Yeah. Let's see what's what. Mm. That well known oh, game. Okay. Ah. Right. Uh, see, this go... is where half of the issues come with all these Japanese games that have not been translated. I don't know what I'm pressing here. Let's just try all of these. Uh, uh, okay. Uh, um, yeah. <laughs> what? Oh, is this like, um... Oh, hang, oh, on, hang on, this is croquet, is it not? It's... Crap. <laughs> it's not <laughs> it! <laughs> I, this is, I don't want to play croquet. that, it's rubbish. Croquet? You know, with the Oh yeah, with, with the, the bats. And, yeah. Oh, good shot. That wasn't me. No. Uh, I think you're playing like 19 other people. Hey. From what I can see. Here comes the old deer. <laughs> I don't, 
Oh, I see. see. Right, so I need to just shoot it through that hoop there. Oh, you've got to get it on the line in the middle. Uh, <laughs> or oh, just, just bat it straight just off. straight off the back of the uh, screen. I think, needless to say, that um, it's crap. This, yeah, yeah, it's rubbish. Okay, yeah. I, th not, I think I'm more I interested think... to see what's inside it now. I think you want to get the hammer and tongs out? Yeah. Is this some? Um, it... No, no, no there's four screws it's on four the bottom. Screws, no, I'm going to be disappointed with what's in there, but I think it really well, is yeah, just I don't, I, doubt, I don't think there's going to be much in there. I'm just, I'm, I want to have a look Star at Superstar Soldier. Soldier. Another one I don't remember. Ah. Uh -huh. Obviously, with my Japanese, a little bit rusty, but. Um, uh -huh. Push the run button for normal game. Oh, this looks like a Xenon 2 Mega Blaster style of game. It's quick, Oop. though. Jesus Christ. That background is. Um, I can't tell what. Why, does the, down why, down. why do the baddies look the same as the collectibles? I don't know. Ah. Ooh, that's quite a handy little there. Whoa. Oh, it's not a single hit and you die oh, yeah. job then. You've got, um, yeah, energies. Okay. Yeah. See? More collectible Wait, things. Oh, dear. Why has my gun got smart oh, eyes? Because I've got missiles now. Yeah. Oh, we're on fireballs now. What's the green one? Some sort of laser lightning job. Yeah. Don't remember playing this, I don't think. Uh, oop. I don't think I'm supposed to be flying straight into the baddies. I hope this is not looking good. Uh, interesting. Right. Mm, I'll thoughts? tell you what. My thoughts are: let's take a screwdriver to this, and let's potentially have a look at the back of it. Potentially a hammer, yeah. um, so we can get into it. And uh, yeah, bearing in mind it was a hundred quid. That's so true. I'd rather not so, break it so that it doesn't ever work again. But I wouldn't mind seeing what's mm, in there for my hundred quid. Yeah. Because the plastics are pretty crap. Yeah, I was going to say. Um, it's nearly as good as the PVP boy that we've done in the past. <laughs> I'd, I'd, I have to give you to the plastic yeah. is slightly better on, on these, but um, okay. still all confused over the, the little latch That's that for, stops um, the um, cartridge from coming out, even though you can't put a cartridge in it. But, no. Yeah. Okay. Anyway, right. Let's have a look let's, inside uh, it. Let's have a look inside. <laughs> okay, let's have a little look inside it. So, looking on the bottom, there's just four screws, so we'll take those out first of all, he says. Hopefully, snapping all the plastic tabs off in yeah. the process. One peeling off the warranty peeling sticker. off. Yeah. No, that's the point. I wonder if there's one in the middle underneath the. Oop. Possibly. I'll retrieve the... that screw thrown on the floor. Yep. Okay. One more. Right. Probably need the hammer for this next section. Mm. Is it just going to come up? Oh. Okay. Wow. Oh, there's your plastic latch that you're after that you yeah. quite like. Right, so I need to take the heat sink off then. Going in. But that really is crap. A, a nothingness board. Yeah. I mean, yeah. I know they don't need to be, but. Uh, you're probably paying for the licensing for the games more than you are for the actual hardware, I would have thought. Yeah. Or not. Okay, so. Well, that's sort of some kind of heat sink. Um, so what have we got on there then? So your memory there, flash storage there, and here. I presume under there is the ARM processor. So yeah. number on there. Yeah. Zuiki Z seven two one three. So that's yep. um, yeah, pretty mediocre at best. But I guess it doesn't need to be anything. No. Anything too strong. Power so button. obviously with only five twelve um, flash memory storage on there, then it's not going to give you. A huge amount, mind you. I don't, I don't think there's that many games for. for no. Um, okay. So uh, yeah, sure. very much nothing to that board. Very much nothing at all. I reckon they could have probably made that entire console a quarter of that size quite happily. Yeah. There's a lot of empty real estate on that there PCB is, yeah. as well. There's hardly anything on there at all, is there? Mm. 
Right, okay, so what's what's your thoughts? Um, yeah, I'm a little bit disappointed, to be honest with you. To be honest, the thing that I'm massively disappointed with this is the games list. Yeah, Even though the, we had the games list before we bought it, we knew what was coming on it before we bought it. I don't understand their choices for the games. It made no sense. No, it doesn't. Um, but I think looking back, that's probably most of the games that were ever released you know, on this because there wasn't well, a great there, deal, there was, was there? Actually, I've just been through the list and there was a total of 680 oh, okay. games for well, well, it. Then. Granted, a lot of those are Japanese only, you know, but they've included, being that this is specifically for rest of the world release outside of Japan, yeah. Um, I would have thought that. Uh, so I was coming across games after Perna 2. Oh, right. Okay. Uh, Golden Axe, Prince of Persia, um, what else did we have? Double Dragon 2, Aero Blasters, Chase HQ. Mm, so there's some games. much better titles. Now, I can only believe that certain ones of those they deliberately didn't do because of uh, the simple fact that they were available on the mini Mega Drive, so yeah, why release? Yeah, with other mini consoles. Yeah, but there, there was still a lot better choice of games. Mm. It just seems that they just took this sort of a yeah. bit of a half-assed approach to... Well, they've done a unified one unit, so this is just worldwide. It'll be Japan, yeah. US and Europe, and yeah. that's it. And there's no I, I just think it's a, a bit of a bit yeah. of disappointment. They, they, they look like they spent a lot of time on that front end, and that looks really nice with the little graphic of the cartridge going in and things, which is great, but why give such a rubbish game to choice? Yeah, it's like they've just made you it know. for the Jap market because the yeah. Famicom that I've got here from Japan, that is the same as the UK Nintendo. Does that have the same title? But no, this is Jap only games, all of them. Oh, right. Pretty much. Okay. Yeah. Um, there's the odd odd title that you would have played in Europe, but um, yeah, I, yeah, not impressed with the games lineup. No, and in fact, this doesn't even have an LED to indicate that it's powered on. Obviously, yeah. the screen comes on, but it's um, you just would have thought, especially being mode. that you know, if you were buying when certainly when they were released, Super Nintendo was around sixty nine pounds. Mm -hmm. uh, the Mega Drive was similar, sixty nine yeah. pounds. Yet this is ninety nine, so I yeah. was expecting more. From this, mm. if I'm honest. They're making up from lost sales in the 90s. I yeah. <laughs> just price gouging everyone yeah. right I mean, the controller, I, I, to be honest, it, it was fine. There was nothing wrong with it. Um, as I never had one of these systems back in the 90s, I, I can't honestly say when this. Compare it to. Yeah, it's yeah. comparable. I mean, I, I like both the, the PlayStation and the Super Nintendo, both had very, uh, you know, original they style. They almost original. Yeah, they, so. Um, but, and so this I can't compare it to, but it was fine to game on, but honestly, that game choice, just crap. I mean... Uh, so what would you give it out of 10? Um, honestly, mm -hmm. four or five. Yeah, I think uh, I'm with you on that one. It's not, it's not worth buying. Um, it, it, it really isn't, and and actually, knowing what I know now, even though you know I collect them, I, I don't think I bother. No. I, I think there's going to be loads of these floating around. I reckon in three to six yeah. months, these will have dropped in price because no one can shift stock. Mm. Um, you know, they're they're not they're not worth it. I mean, I'm hoping that someone is going to crack this so that you can put different games on, and that may end up improving it. Yeah. A lot of people's qualms with the PlayStation when it was released, or the PlayStation um, Classic, uh, was the game selection, was, you yeah, know, no Crash Bandicoot and stuff like that. So uh, people, you know, now you can put your own on oh, there. Games on there. Uh, they probably become a bit more popular, yeah. but you shouldn't have to do that, seriously. I mean, Konami, sort that out. Yeah. What's the matter with you, you know? Why have you rushed something like this out? Junk. Okay. Uh, anyway. Well, let's box it back up, put it back on the shelf. Probably never ever and touch it. Probably never again. touch it again. <laughs> right. Until next time, people. Yep. See like you later. and subscribe. Don't oh, forget. Don't and, forget. Yeah. Yep. And we'll see you on the next video. Ta ta. Ta ta.